Hey, it's Ray Hennessy here. I got another real time edit for you. Thanks so much for joining. Got another beautiful American Avocet. I don't know why I said another because I don't think I've done one of these yet on the real time edit series. But in any case, I guess I've been editing a lot of stuff today. All right, so starting with a straighten out. This was from out at the Great Salt Lake uh, during my visit out there in September with Marianne Karen. Uh, if you're not following her or familiar with her, definitely check out her photography. She also has a post on my website about the plate of the Great Salt Lake and um, the issues facing it, which are really sad. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, it's certainly worth it. All right. So back to the real time edit here. Let's go lighter with the exposure. I definitely underexposed a bit there. I lifted the shadows a bunch now. Blacks back down for contrast. White balance, absolutely atrocious on this. So I'm going to start with a white balance click on the bird. All right. Two red on the bird now. So I'll go back towards blue, a little bit of green. So I'm going to leave the bottom a little bit cooler, but certainly nowhere near how ridiculously cool it was to begin with uh, and then maybe drop a gradient on the back darken it just a tad and we'll warm it even a little bit more um, let's try the new subject select here see how it does and that looks pretty darn good and we're just going to do a little whoa that was a bit much a little punch on the bird there because the bird was definitely a little too dark so let me zoom in on this and see if it messed up any edges that i'm not happy with that's pretty darn good so i'll i'm gonna go ahead and stick with that all right that's a good start uh still need a little bit more tweaking so into photoshop we go at that point there we go i love the water drops here too all right, I don't think I have anything to clone out on this one, so I'm actually just going to start with a little bit of burn across the top there. Just kind of feather in some of that darker sky. I, I keep seeing this like line back there I don't love, so maybe let me see if I can just kind of soften that with some cloning here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that's just a weird artifact or or what. Anyway, it's gone. All right. Um, I'm actually going to try and go more blue with the water, but not cyan because it's kind of already like a little, it's got like a weird green tint. All right. So I'm going to go back here to the background layer, try the subject selection. I mean, that's pretty darn good. So let me invert it, save it, put that up there. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to invert it. There we go. We'll leave it like that. I'll invert it for the water and then i'm just going to paint in some more blue on that water not sure how i randomly grabbed the zoom tool there trying to get used to a new tablet here hmm. well i'm not sure about that it's not looking the way i wanted huh yeah you know what i'm actually just going to ditch that layer all right so back to the subject selection or wait, let me put a layer on here. I just want to punch up the bird a little bit more in certain areas. So do something like that. Load the selection. Let me zoom in here. And we'll go just a little bit lighter on the face, a little bit on the neck there. Um, the blacks are getting washed out on the back there. So I'm going to kind of richen those up a little bit. Probably just came from the original light. Lightning that I did in Photoshop or Lightroom, sorry. All right, there we go. Let me do a dodge layer just for this catch light right there. And then I'm just going to do some desaturation of the blues on the bird itself. And again, just isolate that to the bird, not the background. And then I'm noticing there's like a little bit of those warm tones kind of setting in from that uh, reflected mountainside back there. So maybe let's take advantage of those. I want to make sure I don't paint them in on the bird and just kind of across the bottom there. Uh, I think overall, I'm going to give the entire thing just a little bit of a, a brightness contrast punch. And I think I'm happy with that. I don't like how like yellow that is versus orange. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to that area up there, which kind of got that color when I did that burn. So there we go. All right, so zoom in just a little bit here. There we go. 
before, after. Oh, yeah, definitely cleaner. Bird jumps out a little bit more off the page. Color looks better. Maybe don't need quite as much on that brightness, so I'll lower that opacity. There we go. Cool. I'm happy with that. Let me save that. We'll head back into Lightroom and take a look at the before and after. Uh, should be a pretty good change on this, but you can see we didn't have to do anything too major there. Um, some, you know, big exposure change right in the beginning because I accidentally oh, I forgot to give a completely original version. So let me reset this. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. Horrible original exposure. <laughs> that looks really bad. I mean, some, some might actually delete this, you know, uh, but, um, you know, 500 ISO, that's nothing on this camera. So, uh, I could certainly shoot it. Uh, or punch it up, kind of, you know, push that image around quite a bit. Uh, you know what the one thing I need to do actually now, because I noticed, look, check this out. See how the water drops stand out more there than they do there? So that's not good. So let me go back on this original here, the or the Photoshop file, not the original original. Um, let me go back, and I want to take off some of the, I'm also noticing, like, the bill of the bird got a little bit lighter there. So where's that one layer that I kind of darken thing? So let me grab that. Let's see if we can paint the bill back darker again. There we go, right? We'll richen that up. And then we just darken the, the dark spots on this water drop. Hopefully make it stand out a little bit more. And I'm gonna throw even, I already had a burn layer, so let me go grab that. There we go. That was interesting though, when I just kind of accidentally Put that burn everywhere. Watch. Look at that color, huh? Let's try that again. Ooh. All right. So maybe I had originally done some lightning on this layer here. Maybe I go the other way. Nah, that looks kind of muddy. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the lighter version, like, but maybe not as much. There we go. All right. I'm digging it. And yeah, those water drops show up a lot more now, which I think looks really, really good. So, uh, and the bill is a little bit richer. So, man, it happens to me sometimes. Actually, a lot of times, you know, I just miss something in the edit. And so a lot of times it really is good to kind of just do that before and after thing and, and see what you get there, you know. So we've gone from that to that. Definitely an improvement, I'd say. Uh, and relatively quick. All right. So if you want to learn more about what I just did there, head on over to rayhennessy.com, go over to the workshops menu down to online workshops. You can check out all the different options I offer here. Uh, instead of me explaining everything, just head on over there and read about it. Now, basically you can work with me remotely. Um, if you're local to where I'm at at the time, I'm starting to travel a lot more, but I'm generally based out in New Jersey, but I will be in Florida and Hilton Head, South Carolina over the winter for a couple of months there. So if you're looking to escape the cold from wherever you might be and come down and photograph some amazing birds in some little bit warmer climates, uh, certainly get in touch there. Uh, for those, you can just head on over to my workshops and check out the all day and group workshops uh, or over to the anytime workshops and then check out, see what options are available here in the winter. So uh, these are some of the dates that I'll be down there in Florida and Hilton Head. So you can check out all that stuff. Um, if you want to work with me, it would be great to work with you, uh, especially with some of the online stuff and the mentorship stuff. I can work with you from anywhere you are. All right. So thanks for watching another real time edit. I'll see you guys on the next one.